Hello YouTube, this is Attorney Colin Wynn reaching out to you once again, dealing with a topic that primarily deals with the right to privacy as well as the right to against illegal search and seizure, which usually comes into the context of police officers and as well as private investigators that work for the government and what are their rights and actually your rights and their ability to do some of the things that they do. So I'm gonna give you guys some context as well as kind of explain um, jargon, legal jargon that might help you understand how and what you can do to avoid any you know illegal search and seizures as well as to invoke your rights of privacy against these government officials. So a big common situation is when you're getting pulled over by police. Um, they can't just pull anyone over. They have to show that there's probable cause or a reasonable articulable suspicion that something has happened that has led to them and justified a belief led to them pulling you over, which is often speeding, swerving, you know, license issues, your tail lights. Those things are all legitimately said by the courts that they can pull you over for those things and start questioning you. And anything else happens after that, it's permitted. However, they can't just pull you over for no reason. It has to be justified, like I mentioned. Um, when they do that, when they pull you over without justification, without probable cause, everything happens afterwards. If you have a good attorney, they can fight to suppress the evidence, to stop it from being considered. Um, such as, you know, they found you are intoxicated or you have marijuana uh, in your car. All those things, if they did not pull you over justifiably with probable cause, they can't use it against you. So now another situation such as, let's say you have something in your trunk and the police will pull you over and they ask to search your trunk. Um, typically there's no probable cause for that, only if they arrest you prior and then they can search your vehicle. Um, but they can't just pull you over and search your trunk. You have a right to privacy, constitutionally protected. So it's against illegal searches and after which time seizures as well, anything they take. Um, only if it's in clear sight of their vision, they can like, hey, what is that underneath that chair over there? Is that a gun? Um, in your trunk itself, even if you have an illegal gun, you have a right to privacy. They can't just search it unless they have a legitimate reason. If they pulled you over for speeding, they don't have a right to search your trunk. However, they will ask you in a roundabout way, of course, hey, what's in your trunk? Let me open it. Is it okay I'll open it? Um, and you don't object or you say, sure, your right's gone. So in a way, you're permitting and assenting to the search. And if they find something, yeah, you for sure enough can be convicted or charged with whatever they found and, you, and that those items can be used against you in court. However, if you say, no, don't search my car, you're not allowed, then that's gonna prevent them from doing so, especially if they pulled you over something so basic like speeding or swerving. Uh, so that's your right to privacy. Um, a lot of people always wonder what that means and what officers can do in regards to searching your vehicle as well as your body and well, another topic that I want to kind of talk about is the stop and frisk. I know a lot of people have been hearing about it in the news dealing with Michael Bloomberg who's running for president and how there was a stop and frisk law that was implemented in New York to stop these people from individuals from doing committing crimes or gangsters and all that stuff. However, this was determined as unconstitutional because you can't just stop anyone and then start checking them. That's just against the rules. You have to have a legitimate reason. You have to have justification, otherwise no one's probable cause. And the Supreme Court struck that law down, which was enacted by the city of New York. And clear on this face, that's a right against your, your privacy. And same thing with your home. In a situation where they knock on your door, if they don't have a warrant, they can't come in. And you can deny them the ability to come in. Same scenario as the trunk. Hey, they're gonna say something like, hey, let me get in, let me come in, let me look at the thing. And if you don't object to it, they come in, that's on you. And unless they open the door and they say, and oftentimes they do say, I smell marijuana. They run in and start checking because they're trying to say that's all, that's enough probable cause and justification. And it's gonna be ultimately down to the word of the officer or the word of the defendant saying there was no marijuana, blah, blah, blah. So they always try to get around it. However, you do have rights. Hello YouTube, please like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video informational and also comment below if you thought there were some issues that you wanted me to answer and possibly address as well as any you know, future recommendations for videos. That would be greatly appreciated and I will be back with future content. Thank you very much. Have a great day.